G'day, my name's Jordan, and welcome to episode 2 of Flash Forbies. This is my 2012 79 series V8 Land Cruiser. On this side, this is a standard Toyota raised air intake uh, that I have sealed. On this side of the engine bay, I'm running my dual battery system, which I have linked up to a Red Arc Smart Charge solenoid. I'm running two deep cycle batteries. Uh, the start battery is start compatible. Reason being, you have the extra terminals so I can hook up my high current draw accessories like the winch and the air compressor. Also connected to the solenoid is a jump start switch in the cab. For my second battery, I like to keep it simple, only running my camp accessories, including the fridge, LED lights, and also hooked into this one is an Anderson plug at the back for a solar panel. Uh, inside my 79 series single cab, I have the GXL standard interior. Up top, I'm running the Outback Accessories roof console. Nice and simple with the LED interior lights. On top of the dash, I have my HN7 HEMA four-wheel drive navigation system. Under my HEMA, I'm running my stereo and my GME two-way. Underneath that, I have put the button to jumpstart my car. Just buy me dual battery system. Get a load of that. Now, you know the old uh, cigarette lighter we used to have? that. I've replaced that with a USB two port socket. I'm one of those people who love their music up loud. Crisp, clear music. So in my 79 series, I have upgraded the audio system. The head unit I'm using is basic, simple, nothing flash going on there, just an Alpine single din. I have got two amps, one that runs four, lots of speakers. I only have two in the cab at all times, the other two I put on the back for camping. In the doors I'm running six inch folk audio splits, which I have colour coded to match the colour of the car. Behind the seats I'm running a Rockford Fosgate four channel amp to run the speakers and a Rockford Fosgate mono amp to run the sub. The sub I've gone with is also Rockford Fosgate. That is a power T1 sub. Absolutely cranks. On the rear of my 79, I've uh, put a custom steel tray on the rear, which has under tray side toolboxes at the front. Under the tray in the middle, I have got a 60 litre water tank, which has a filler at the front of the headboard. and the tap at the rear here, which I can also fill up from. In this toolbox here, I've got my recovery gear, and also over here, I have mounted up my RB twin compressor, which houses all the bits I need to inflate my tyres. On this side, the driver's side, I have my toolbox, which stores all my tools and little bits of accessories while out camping. At the rear of the tray, I have another toolbox compartment to store stuff. This here 
has is the axe, shovel, and any other accessories that are reasonably long. On the driver's side I've got a space case which stores all luggage, clothes, accessories like that. And also on this side I've got a switch here which is also a dimmer just for the full LED uh, lights for when out camping and cooking. On the right here I have my ARB 65 litre fridge which has been with me for nearly 10 years now and that's always been on the back of a ute, still going strong. Just behind that I have another space case and that's got all the cooking gear, everything I need. Where I'm sitting right now is a bit of a wasted space but I use this to put the ladder for the tent, um, chairs, firewood just to keep out of the weather. This is my Alu cab shadow warning. Wraps 270 degrees around the car and it's freestanding. It also has a stabiliser leg just for that added strength for those extra windy or rainy days. This is my Alu cab clamshell rooftop tent. Things I like about it is it's spacious, large windows, uh, lots of breeze, and lots of room to move around. It's quite nice in here. It's also got uh, storage pockets, plenty of them. It's also got LED light up top, which has also got a dimmer on it, and ports down near the front door for charging your phones. To support the rooftop tent and awning, I have built a, a frame that I built myself at home for about 40, 60 bucks. And I've also built it so it sits that little bit lower than the roll bar of the tray. On the back here, I have mounted my two spare wheels. And also just above that, in the middle, I have my steady reverse light. Front springs, I'm running a Dobbinson light duty load, four inch lift. On top of those are 15 mil coil spaces. Shockies, I'm running 80 series, six inch lifted front remote reservoir superior engineering shocks. Reason being, I can get more flex while off road. Superior engineering pan hood rod adjustable. Under the axles, superior engineering super flex radius arms. I'm running superior engineering spaces for the sway bar. Under the rear of the vehicle, I am running 3 inch lifted EFS 0 to 300 kilogram load carrying springs. I have removed the two load carrying leaves as I don't usually get that much load on the rear and that has added extra clearance. Also for the extra clearance, I have removed the factory lower shocky mounts and replaced them with superior engineering high clearance shock mounts. To support the extra load and keep the comfort, I have fitted some Boss airbags, triple bellows. The shockies I'm using are Superior Engineering Remote Reservoir Adjustable 2.0 shocks. The tyres I'm running are a Mickey Thompson Fajar Claw. They are 315, 75, 16, and they are fitted to the genuine GXL alloy rims. In the near future, I'd like to upgrade my rims for something a bit wider, just to suit the larger tyre. Thanks for showing us around your car today. It's been really good out there in the dunes. Yeah, no worries. Cheers for that. Cheers. It's been fun. What are your uh, top mods you reckon you've done to the trailer? Uh, well, I've got to say the suspension is uh, one of my favourite because I just love to play around with it all the time and 
make it work even further. Test it out for tracks. See how much I can make the old 79 series flex. Yep. It's definitely one thing that's uh, not the best on the 79s. Yep. But no, I've had a good good play with it and, um, and I'm still playing with it. So, so yeah, it's definitely one of me one of my top mods. It's gotten me a lot further than without this decent suspension up the road. Yeah, well a flex is better than a shopping trolley, so it's better than standard. Yeah well <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Another mod uh, would be definitely having a decent amount of water storage on board, having the water 60 litres under the tray, yep. um, and just having accessible tap there ready to go instead of having dairy cans and bottles of water floating around, taking up space in the fridge. Having that out of the way and permanent, absolutely love it. It's, you can't beat it. Yep. Just being out camping, just filling up the kettle, washing your hands, just there. Another one would definitely be having a, a rooftop tent. Yep. Um, going away from the swag, it's a big, bigger, uh, big difference. Yep. Um, love the swag, but yeah, moving, moving upwards, having a rooftop tent is easy setup, and also with the rooftop tent, building a little bit of a frame yourself. Um, is, is a contributor to having your own car and adding to it. Yeah, no, it looks great. You've done a really good job. Uh, there's, there's a few few favourites there. There's a lot more but, and a lot more to come. So. Yeah, no, looking to see where you take this in the end. And uh, do you have any advice for anyone looking to set up a 79 similar to yours? Well, a big one would be don't just buy a car and have everything slapped on it. Learn out bush, out camping, on the tracks, what your car's capable of and set it up as you go. You'll find what works, what doesn't. Don't just buy it or whack it on and think it's going to work. No, so, good advice. Yeah, take it easy. Do it your way. Yeah, take the time and set it up the way that, that way it's your rig and not someone else's. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us on episode two of Flash Forbies. We'll see you next time on Prado 120 Adventures. Cheers. Cheers.